I'm gonna grind. I'm going to fight. I'm going to work. I'm going to press toward. I'm going to learn. I'm going to do everything in my power every single day. I'm going to do everything in my power to become a victor and not a victim. Let me tell you this, the wolf that is on the hill is never as hungry as the wolf that is climbing the hill. And so you got to get hungry and you have to stay hungry. You have to guard your hunger. I need you to develop a healthy dose of self-assurance. When you feel like you can't, when you want to let go, when you are surrounded by doubt, fear, and anxiety, you are going to have to pull up your resume and remember all of the things that you have made it through. There is no excuse for not living up to the, your fullest potential. No excuse. What do you want? Somebody told you to just graduate high school, graduate college, get a job, work that job the rest of your life, have kids, get married and die. Somebody told you that. What do you believe you were destined to do? And then you gotta spend every single solitary day for the rest of your life going after that dream. What do you have to have? What is your dream? And when you think there's nothing left in the tank, look yourself in the eyes and say, I can, I will, I must. The nightmare is to reach our 60s, our 70s, our 80s, or even our deathbed and to talk about everything we should have done. I should have done that. I should have invested in this. I should have made the relationship work. I shouldn't have got a divorce. We sit around and talk about all of our shoulds. We talk about all the things we wanted to do, but never got it done. That, that's the nightmare. That's the nightmare that we all must avoid. This is the time to establish your dream. All of the pain, all of the trauma, Everything you have experienced, the turbulence, you have to garner up all of that hunger. I'm talking about you got to think of everything you've ever wanted in your life and you got to put it toward that goal. And there are things that you have been called to do that no one on earth has ever done. They said I'd never get to this point. But here I stand. They warned that success is unlikely, that victory is improbable, and maybe so. But if this was for everyone, I wouldn't want it. They pointed to their own limitations and proclaimed them to be mine. But that's the thing about limits. They'll exist wherever you place them and I have placed mine behind me. See, human beings make things unnecessarily complicated. Instead of drawing a direct line from point A to point B, we create 100 reasons why it's too hard, too tough, we construct distractions. There is no hard, there is no easy. There is a goal, the price that must be paid, and the eyes observing from a distance, wondering just maybe if they could do the same. The saying goes that a wolf need not concern himself with the opinions of sheep that those who watch and admire are often the first to throw stones, to criticize, to condemn. But listening to them contradicts the very thing that gives the wolf its power, its strength. His ascent is threatening, not because he is like everyone else, but because he dares to be different. There will be a point when the mountains tower over you 
The oceans obstruct your way, and the masses tell you no. Perfect. Right now is not a decision that involves debate. This is no democracy. This is a promise unfolding before your very eyes. This is truth, the new reality. It's about embracing what makes you different, not hiding from it. I'm fighting for separation, walking into what most avoid in pursuit of a return that most can only dream of. And as far as I'm concerned, you can either do the same or spend your life criticizing and wishing that you did. Sheep stay within the confines of what they know, angry at those who left, who wanted more, yet angrier at themselves for staying right where they are. This is all we get. One rodeo, one opportunity. So before you make your next move, look hard at your reflection and ask yourself, are you a wolf? or a sheep. Live accordingly. How do you stay driven? I'm gonna ask you a question. How don't you stay driven? If you're so ambitious, show me. Wanna be an anomaly? You have to act like one. Don't give a about tomorrow. I care about 36 months from now, 52 months from now, 83 months from now. What did you do from Friday 5 p.m. until Monday 7 a.m.? I'm just curious, like, and I don't think you shouldn't have a weekend, but I think everybody's ambition actually is more predicated on their actions than their words. My friends tell me all the time they're so ambitious, and I'm like, if that's true, then you punt leisure, and you punt concerts at Jones Beach, and you work. You can't believe how many people, you know how many people used to say the word luck? That, that word luck has gone right back, like nobody has the audacity to say that to my face now, and I love it. And that's why I did it, I did it, I made it for you because you can watch it and be like, okay. But I think yours is different, I think a lot of theirs is different. It's because I'm not fancy about it. Document over create. I'm super not interested in being fancy. I'm willing to work. I work harder than everybody in this room and I swear on my life, I'm positive. Because you can only tie me. And so, I'm just not fancy. Like, I'm gonna win and I'm gonna continue to win and I'm gonna be real fucking big. And I'm never gonna forget what I'm about and I like getting my hands dirty and I'll answer that email and I'll stop and have that conversation and I'll take that pitch and I do unscalable, not the right use of my time. 50% of my day, every day, for the rest of my life, because I love the dirt. I love the grind. I'll never get fancy. I don't like fancy, and so that's important to me. Second you think you've won, somebody's gonna creep. It's it's so real. That, you know, a lot of these cliches and stereotypes, they're real. There is no loss in going for it. That, yeah, you might get made fun of, and you might have it in your own mind, but. I punted every leisure activity in my life, nothing. No weekends, no vacations, zero, nothing, nothing. It's my truth, I didn't take a single vacation day. Never, none, zero, zero, zero. All my high school friends, gone, because I wasn't around. All my college friends, post-college, gone. Girlfriends, nothing, all in. So what did I do? I worked, I worked to such an extreme level. I'm going for it. I'm hustling from 6 to 11 p.m. every day with every second allocated. There is no break. There's no, there's no eat a salad and read Reddit or watch YouTube. That, that is not in my game. Getting your hands dirty under your fingernails, it's the game. The young are the future. And if you notice trends like, oh, they don't use email, you can learn from them or they're watching a lot of YouTube. So the two biggest things are stop being soft and start actually working and getting your hands dirty in the thing that you love. And number two, pay attention to trends around your friends. People aren't starting. They're just not making. They're thinking, they're pondering, they're strategizing, they're debating. I'm just doing it all times. I actually would tell you, I fascinate sometimes over losing everything. And then having you guys write articles like, See, he wasn't that good, he was so foolish. And then rising like a phoenix and being like, you. Because you need to be a practitioner to be good at what you do. 
I don't wanna be a social media guru that reads a headline from somebody else's tweet. I know every thing that Musical.ly, Snapchat, Vine, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram does. Period. And I sit with all these gurus that sell books too and all these fucking social media experts and corporations and start, I sit with Facebook and Instagram in meetings where their executives are wrong. Like I'm a practitioner. I really know my and that's important. If you want to win, you have to be able to do that. And way too many people lose that. They forget what gets them there and they're not keeping up with it. And the thing that I do for a living is hard because these platforms are changing every day, every second and a lot of things change. And the things that were tried and true a week ago change and in that arbitrage, in your headline reading, I make money. If you're complaining, like look, if you're, if you're happy and you've got student loans and you've got mortgages and, and you work two jobs but you're happy, good. The problem is there's so many millions of people just sitting around complaining and then they go play Madden for four hours. You have to deal with the reality of the situation. Dwelling and pondering and crying doesn't do and it especially doesn't do in this eco chamber. In this arena, there is no crying. You can cry, you're just gonna lose. And I have bad news about complaining and crying. Let me tell you something about complaining and crying that's really, really gonna hurt for all you complainers out there. Nobody gives a sh- We had a packed day, 15 hour day. It got canceled. What are you doing in that 15 minutes? And by the way, sometimes those 15 minutes are absolutely worth calling your mom, calling your daughter, FaceTime with your kids. But it's just making every minute count. Every minute has to count. Every minute has to count if you want so much because you just don't have as many of them as you think. You just don't. The wolf on the hill is never as hungry as the wolf climbing the hill. It's not easy going it alone. But if you keep going, stay true to yourself. It will be worth it in the end. The hardest walk you can make is the walk you make alone. But that is the walk that makes you the strongest. That is the walk that builds your character the most. To all of you fighting battles alone, to all of you going against the grain, battling the naysayers, stay strong, keep going. Stay strong, keep going. This walk is hard, but the hardest walks lead to the greatest destinations. The toughest climbs always lead to the best views. It will be worth it in the end. And if you show what you are made of, the right people will show up in your life. You won't be alone wolf forever. You have qualities only few can admire because most don't possess. You have strength only few can understand because most have never experienced. So don't give in. Don't settle. Don't lower your expectations to fit into the world. You were born to stand out. You were born to lead. Lead the pack. They say the wolf on the hill is never as hungry as the wolf climbing the hill. Always be that wolf climbing the hill. Always hungry for more. Always hungry to grow, to feed your mind and rise to the highest level you can take yourself. Never looking back, always looking forward to the next feast, feast of success in whatever you do. It does not matter if you have to walk alone for a while. It is much better to walk alone in the right direction than to follow the herd 
walking in the wrong direction. Stay strong. Be different. Your destiny is in your hands. Get out there and hunt it. You've always felt this something that you've got within you. You've always felt this unexplainable urge to do something. The pure fact that you are watching this right now while having unlimited videos to your disposal means there is this thing inside of you like an itch, it's aching for your attention. It's the seed that wants to blossom, the bull that wants to be freed from prison. Open the gates and don't suppress it anymore. Externalize your goals. Go after them, hunt after them, chase after them, race after them. It's your goal to put creative energy into your desires. Guys, let's be real here. What's going on with you? You already know where you want to go, why you're sitting on your feet and making up excuses. Are you one of those talkers telling everyone where you want to go, what you want to do, but not taking any action? Haul up your panties, grow some f balls, and stop acting like a little girl waiting for her daddy to get what she wants. Stop waiting for the perfect time to come to go and get what you want. Stop acting like a little baby waiting for his mommy's nipple to get fat. Get up and go hunt your dream. Go hunt that animal you want to feast on like the man that you are. Those days of helplessness have passed. You're not being defined by grief, apathy or guilt anymore. Set yourself free, man. See, our society pretends like every group is wired in series. All people are all wired in series. All must go if one bulb is defective. Bull you're not one of those people online being defined by external influences, media politics and ideals based on others' opinions. You are parallel wired man. You're the one light that stays on and gains more power when other lights go out. As things get tough, you see people around you quitting and giving up. That's the moment you start shining. You start encouraging others. You start giving them energies to empower them. You don't take life force. Give life force. You don't drain this world's energy, you energize this world. Discipline and dedication are the foundation, the soil and the framework of success. It takes discipline to hunt after your vision. It takes dedication to maneuver yourself through the tough and thick forest while every moving branch is trying to trip you, while all the thick branches you could hold on to to support, your so-called friends turn out to be snakes that are trying to tangle you. It takes resilience to move when you're hungry. It takes resilience to move when you're tired and dehydrated on the battlefield. It feels like sand scraping away fresh skin, the sun beating down against your neck like oil and fire, the blisters and warts bursting into a cluster of painful combustion, your skull pounding and pounding until your hair cracks opening up, the excruciating pain of loneliness, betrayal and deceit, all alone and no one around you, all the cuts burning and stinging and it feels like two rocks grinding while you're in the middle, it takes discipline to not give up then, while all your problems could be taken away by just quitting. Come on, quit, give up. It's not human to take this kind of pain erupting from every part of your body. Here's what no one knew. You were hardened by every challenge. You created your own light ray in the dark nights. You were the lightning breaking the hard rocks all around you. You endured every single part of the endeavor so no one else would go through that pain. It takes tremendous amount of discipline to become successful. Whatever that terms mean to you. You got to prepare yourself for these battles in your mind. The moment you find your hacks and the way your system works, you turn that rough landscape into the most beautiful scenery in which you move elegant and swiftly. You're now a creator of your world. 
and achieved it with your internal power. This was a battle fully in your mind. This was a battle in which you are a victor. And all it took was the right framework. Discipline and dedication always lead to content and pride. The right kind. Discipline and dedication are the foundation, the soil and framework of success. Every day, there is a specific decision you have to make. It's the first and it's the most important decision because from it, you effectively roadmap your destiny. What I'm referring to is the choice to either have a positive outlook or to allow negativity and doubt to chart your course. It's a dilemma that truly is that simple. Every morning, you choose how you want to view the obstacles ahead of you. And what you get out of life will be very different depending on your decision. There's an old Cherokee legend that touches on this conflict. And in the story, there's an older man, he's talking to his grandson about life. He explains that inside all people, there is this fight going on. The struggle consists of two wolves. One manifests itself through negative energy. He's anger, envy, sorrow, inferiority, all that is evil. The other is joy, compassion, faith, truth, all that is good. So he finishes explaining this. The boy sits there, he thinks about it for a minute. He asks his grandfather, well, which one wins? The grandfather replies, whichever one you feed. What we sometimes forget is that we are the sole makers of our own destiny. There are always going to be external factors, whatever they may be, negative people, tough circumstances, maybe a lack of resources. They'll be there, but they cannot dictate your happiness or your success unless you let them. Yeah, they may cause you to alter your approach. You might have to make adjustments. That's good, that's how we develop, that's how we improve. But no one and nothing writes your story but you. Your attitude, your emotions, they directly coincide with how you see the world. So anytime you feel discouraged, negative, envious, anything that's not positive, just stop. Don't waste your time with thoughts that aren't bringing you closer to your goal. There's just no value in it. Tony Robbins says this beautifully. He says, you have to be the guardian of your own mind. Allow in only what will help you. Because God knows the world will crush you if you let it. So take the wheel. What you need to do tomorrow when you wake up is look at yourself hard in the mirror. Make a conscious decision to feed the good wolf. You'll be amazed at how far it will take you.